I hope everyone's having a great evening. I am Mr. Ish. Thank you for joining me for this particular video. I haven't done a math video in a while, so now I will do so. We have in this specific video a geometry exercise to do. We have to express a non-diameter chord and we're talking about the length. Length of a non-diameter chord of a circle as a function of arc length. Well, what's a chord and what's a non-diameter chord? A chord is any segment which goes from one side of the circle to the other side. If it goes to the center of the circle, that chord is called a diameter chord. It's also a diameter. You can just call it a diameter. If the chord, which is a segment, goes from one end to the other but does not go to the center of that circle, we can call it a non-diameter chord because in that particular case, your chord is not a diameter. We're looking at this particular situation over here and how can you determine the length of this non-diameter chord? We can call that a letter B. How can we determine the length of that? segment well that's our exercise for this video and let's do it and the best way you can do it is by generating a sector you see how by connecting here we've now generated what is a sector you blow it up this is what we're looking at a sector but we also have this non-diameter chord b we have a certain angle here we have a certain radius radius and you know i'm redrawing everything here this right here is my arc length going from here up to here that's my arc length how can we express the length of this segment B, which is a non-diameter chord, as a function of that arc length, S? You know the arc length formula, S is equal to R theta. Why don't you solve for that R and you'll have S over theta? Now you have R's and R's, which can be substituted here by S over theta, and that's exactly what I'll do. You're essentially now looking at what is a triangle, and it looks something like this. This is a segment we want to find the length of the non-diameter chord. We have S over theta, we have S over theta, we have a certain angle theta. You know you're looking at a triangle which has one angle and three sides. And why don't you think about here the law of cosine? You know you can do that. In this particular instance, you can do here B square. The side I'm trying to determine is equal to this square plus this square. We'll call that S over theta square plus S over theta square minus. You're essentially saying b squared is equal to a squared plus c squared minus 2ac cosine theta, the law of cosine. And then I have 2 over here, then I have s over theta, s over theta, and then cosine theta. That law of cosine by means of everything you see over here, and this substitution that you see over here is going to help you express the length of this non-diameter chord as a function of arc length. How is it a function of arc length? Because we're seeing the variable s pop up here in this representation. You have to simplify that. b square is equal to 2s square over theta square minus 2s square over theta square cosine theta. Why don't you isolate 2s square over theta square and you're looking here at 1 minus cosine theta. All of this is equal to b square, but b is equal to then the square root of all of that. See, b squared is equal to that. I isolated and now I'm solving for the b. I took the square on the other side. It became a square root. You have perfect squares which can come out here. b is equal to s over theta. And then you'll have 2 into 1 minus cosine theta in a parentheses but under this root. And here's your final answer. This right here, your non-diameter chord b is expressed as a function of arc length because I have the arc length variable in here, s. That's exactly what it is. You know S is equal to R theta. You could technically bring R theta over here and your thetas would cancel out, but then you'd lose the S variable. We have to express it specifically as a function of arc length, and this right here is our answer. A non-diameter chord will always have a dimension B, and that dimension B will always equal to S over theta, your arc length divided by the angle theta, multiplied by the square root of 2 times 1 minus cosine theta, and you can close that parentheses. And that right there is your answer. It brings us to the end of this video and we are done. Thank you for watching.